right. The focus of this presentation is to let you understand the theorem a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. This is the abbreviation. Understanding this theorem, we write it in the form if then to actually have the hypothesis and the conclusion. If a tangent is drawn to a circle, then it is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. In diagram form, we are simply saying this is our hypothesis and this is our conclusion. So the given represent the hypothesis. The required to prove represent the conclusion. So to demonstrate that theorem, we need to demonstrate that OG is perpendicular to T. That is required. But the thinking pattern is start with an end in mind. First, think in terms of the end, that is OG perpendicular to T, to say, how can I arrive at this? But then to do that as your second step is think in terms of the start, that is the given. What theorems or properties can you deduce from the given? We see that we have a tangent and um, radius or G. Here, there's nothing much we can deduce, but there's an important property relative to the radius and the tangent. The property is among all lines, all line segments joining the point O, that is the center of the circle to a point on T, the tangent to the circle. The perpendicular is the shortest to T. That is all what it means to say, if I am to join from O to any point on T, the tangent, right? OG is the shortest. The others will be longer than OG. That's a property, but we need to demonstrate this. So we have to create a problem. The problem now we create is we join OE, E being on the uh, tangent, and show that OG is the shortest joining the point O to a point on T, hence perpendicular to T. So the first thing now is we see that um, OF is equal to OG because they are both ready. Then OF is less than OE. Why? Because OE is equal to OF plus FE. Three OG is less than OE because we have already said OF is equal to OG. So if OF is less than OE, OG is also less than OE. Right, looking at this scenario, we have simply used the one point E, but what it means if we had taken another point still on T, still on T, as long as it's not, that point is not G, that means uh, OG is always going to be less. So the same will be the case for all points on the tangent T. So OG is shorter than any other line segment joining O to any point on T. Hence, OG is perpendicular to T. QED means proof is complete. Thank you very much.